Welcome back everybody, this is Steve KM9G and I've got a review on a product for you today. I'll tell you what, subscribe to the channel, come back in six months and look for an update. Don't watch this one. This is an exercise in patience. You guys always say I have a lot of patience and this one has tested my patience. The nicest thing that I can say is they can update the software. It can be fixed. Let's go take a look. I am thinking about taking a trip, not really 100% sure yet, but I want to be ahead of the game. So I need to program some repeaters into my radio to make sure that I can hear them. And this is my uh, don't worry if I lose it radio on the trip. And this is the TID Radio BL1 Bluetooth Programmer. And this thing is designed for UV5R variant radios. Let's see how easy it is. Plug it in, turn it on. I've printed out a list of repeaters that I wanted to add in, and let's turn this thing on. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go in and install the app. And the app is called O-D-M-A-S-T-E-R. Automaster. It's probably O-D master, odd master, but don't know what it is. Do I want it to access phone, media, or files? No, I do not. Do I want it to make calls? No, I do not. Permission denied. Don't care. And then, thank you for trusting and using the Automaster app. Please read carefully and thoroughly. Sure. And then, we've already created an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. I did not like that. Do I want it to record audio? I'm not 100% sure. But this is technically an audio chain, so I'm going to say yes, that you can do that. Turn on Bluetooth and connect the matching Bluetooth device. Select the correct radio model. Read from and connect the radio, and then program the radio. Fairly straightforward stuff that I would expect it to do. Don't remind me about that next time. So let's turn on Bluetooth. And let's connect to the TID radio device. Yep, let's do it. Done. And it will not work unless you allow device location. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't see why it needs my location. That should be turned off in future releases of the software. Okay, so it says repaired. Select model, Baofeng, UV5R. Read from the radio. It wants me to connect to Bluetooth still. There it is. Always turn it off and on again. That's always the answer. All right, now let's read from the radio. And we got blinky blinky stuff. And then it stopped blinky blinky. There we go. Channel information setting. Function setting, write the radio, RXTX list, and save. All right, I'm going to program channel 0, and I'm going to give this the frequency of 144.19. That, that worked out real well. 144.19. Stop moving. 14419. 14 dot. Nope. 19. Transmit frequency, and then it bounced back up. And I put it in wrong after all that anyway. 145.19. 144.59 and 
and then I want an encoding tone of 103.5. This keyboard should drop out of the way so I can see the whole list. And then what else do I need? Transmit power, high power. We want all the power. And we're gonna leave everything else the same and we're gonna change this to say K O zero zero C A T. Excellent. And then let's write that and see what happens. I will confirm that the upload completed dialog box has appeared and let's take the radio and switch it into VFO mode and change the channels. Okay, it didn't let me name channel zero and uh, K8MRD radio stuff ran into this problem also. So let's put that same thing into channel one. That way I know what the name is. And I want a frequency of 144, 145, 145.19, 145. 145.19. One nine one four four dot five nine and I want an encoding tone of one oh three dot five and then transmit power high and then I want to name this K O zero C A T that should stay in caps all the time. Right. And now this is on channel zero and on channel one, but channel zero with no name and channel one hopefully with a name. Radio reboots itself. And let's go. No names. All right, let's clear this channel. Let's clear this channel. It won't let me clear the channel. Nice. Channel two. Let's try it one more time and then we're given up. One, four, five. And it moved back to the beginning. So now I need to move it back to the end. One, four, five dot one, nine. And now let's click on TX frequency because I waited and it changed the TX frequency automatically for me even though I didn't ask it to. 144.59 Either don't put the decimals in for me or know that you put them in and get rid of the decimals because I am going to put them in because who thought the software would put it in for me? 103.5 Transmit power high Put that on caps lock because you didn't. K zero K O zero C A T. And then we will save it. Sure. Okay, so we created my own save list. And we put that on channel two. And channel one is empty. And channel zero is the one that we can't delete. Let's write it. It's writing to the radio. Radio reboots. Okay, let's go into function. Maybe it's a setting in my radio. Channel plus name. Channel plus name. Let's write that. Radio reboots. Hey, we've got channel names now. Excellent. All right, let's go back to channel zero. Channel. Let's clear channel zero, which it still won't clear. Let's go to channel one, which is clear. Let's go to channel two and clear that. All right, so let's go back and enter in this frequency. And it is 145. Don't put in the period 19. And it moved itself. And 
the offset is 144.59. And the encoding is 103.5. And transmit power is high. And the name, caps lock, K0, K-O-0-C-A-T, A-T, right. All right, confirm, radio reboots. And it did not erase channel two. And channel zero still cannot be named. Okay, so channel two, it lost its name. Channel plus, it lost that setting. Update, confirm, write. All right, channel zero. Oh, we got channel zero named now. Okay, excellent. All right, fine. Now let's get back out of here. And if you don't press the back key to get out, it leaves itself running and then it just started itself again, even though I didn't start it. And picking it out of the list doesn't allow you to do anything. On the other hand, this is Zello, and if I pick my Zello app out of the list, look, it starts up Zello. Let's go back to this, nothing. Home button, nothing. So there's a bunch of stuff going on there. Let's go into the radio, and let's see if we can do wrong direction. Let's go the other way. Reset all, yes. Source, VFO, all. All right, so now we're resetting the radio. The radio has been reset, and there's nothing going on on the radio. Okay, so now let's go back into this app. And let's select a model, Baofeng. Let's select UV5R. Let's read from the radio. Please connect Bluetooth. Okay, let's read from the radio. We're reading. Okay, radio has reset on a read. I don't know why it would reset. Let's go to function. Let's change the power on message to a message. Great, it's changed. It, it, I, I can't type in a message. Great, well that was pointless. Let's change this back to channel and name. Let's change this back to channel and name. Let's go back and let's do program. Channel zero, frequency, one, four, five, dot, one, nine. There's that double period again. And then I hit TX frequency and it moved me back to RX frequency. Let's erase this because it's the wrong frequency, one, four, four. They put the period in automatically. Let's let it do it, one, four, four, five, nine, encoding. 103.5, transmit power is high, name is fine. Let's go to channel one and let's put in another repeater. 145, don't press period, don't press anything, it moves back to the beginning. 14531, it's filled out the TX frequency automatically and then moved me back to the RX frequency which was wrong, 144.7171. Who's gonna not who's gonna not put the decimal point in there? 107.2. Transmit power high. And then the call sign for this is W caps lock again, WB seven F I K. Excellent. And let's go to channel two. Let's put in our frequency. We're gonna try really hard to not put decimals in. One, four, seven, three, six. That worked. Now I have to erase this number because it's the wrong number. One, four, seven, dot, nine, six. Ah, I did it again. One, four, seven, nine, six. Okay, let's see if we just type it in fast. One, four, seven, nine, six. Okay, so it works if you just type it in and ignore the fact that there's a decimal point in there, even though there really is a decimal point in there. 
and this is 107.2 and the name of this repeater K6TTQM Okay, I want to save these and I want to call this Quartzite Term All right, so now it's been saved. Let's write it to the radio Radio reboots and it put my name back into the power on message. So that was stored in here somewhere, even though I couldn't edit it. So channel zero is KO0CAT. Channel one is WB7FIK. Channel two is K6TQM. So it does the thing. Let's go talk about this. All right, the TID Radio BL1 Bluetooth programmer for your Baofeng UV5R style of radios. So here's the interesting thing about this device. I think it's the only thing in the market space of its kind. However, software like this has existed for over 30 years. It shouldn't be this difficult. I feel like the developers of the application did not actually use the application. Like, give it to four people, have them plug it into their radio, have them go through the initial settings and, and set up and all that jazz, and then program in four repeaters. I, I did three, and I had already seen problems just putting in one. I, I don't know, I don't know why it happened that way. That doesn't make any sense. Is it a quick way to program your radio? Yeah. Is it great for beginners? I can't say it is. Does it require way too many permissions on your phone in order to program a radio? Yes. Why is it trying to be a social network? Who knows? I just want a radio programmer, guys. I just want to be able to type in stuff without all kinds of hassles. Ham radio repeaters have been around since the dawn of time. I don't know. At least 40 years. The ability to type data into a computer has been around for at least 40 years. Cell phones have been around for 20 years, maybe more. Smartphones have been around for almost 20 years at this point. Wake up. I, I really tried really hard to say nice things about this, but I can't. I don't, yeah, I don't know. There's a link in the description down below. If you want to get it and try it out and feel my frustration, feel your own frustration, feel no frustration whatsoever, you think it's the best product on the planet, go for it. I'll make a little bit of money off of the link below. Um, I don't know. I really wanted to like this thing. I really did. I really don't even want to put this video online. Maybe this video over here will be more interesting than this video that you just watched. And you know what? I'm going to open this thing up in another video and we're going to take a look inside and see what's going on inside of it. Thanks for being awesome. I wish this was more awesome. I really do. <laughs>